Somers and friends are back. Well, come on then. For their most exciting adventure yet. Really now? I'm interested to hear it. Step aboard. For a journey of a lifetime. Explore new faces and places. <laughs> Both old. Oh no, not you again. And new. You don't know my name. Thrills and spills await. Just around every corner. Get ready for tracks to even bigger adventures. Thomas and Friends, Tracks to Big Adventures. Series 2, coming soon. Ryan, even with more and more people coming to Sodor each year, the Express never fails to deliver. Oh, I see. Well, good luck, Gordon. <laughs> there we are, everybody. Gordon, I, I mean the Express, C coming through. Ah, huh. Gordon. There you are. I'm just in time too. You really are a reliable engine. Thank you, sir. Oh, phew. I do need a good rest now, to be honest. My pistons are worn out. <laughs> I'm not surprised. We have more and more people visiting our beautiful island each and every year. Perhaps we even need to add another express coach to the express to keep up with the demand. Oh, that will be no problem, sir. You do, however, look very tired and puffed out, Gordon. Trust me, sir. I can handle another express coach. Hmm. Hello there, Gordon. How was your day? It was busy, as usual. Did you go so fast that your pistons can't move another inch? Oh, dearie me, Gordon. You really are getting old, aren't you? I've not worn out, James. I just need to get some uh, rest, according to the fat controller. But surely a simple mixed traffic engine like you won't understand the needs of a special express engine. I pulled the express before too, you know. You big, um, show off. Gordon being overworked? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure, Percy. I'm worried about him. Perhaps we need a new express engine or something. You and I both know that Gordon would never allow such a thing, Thomas. You never know, Percy. Now I'm going to find the fat controller. Um, hello there, sir. I wanted to talk to you about Gordon. He seems to be a bit... Overworked? Um, yes. 
That's exactly what I mean, sir. How did you know? Well, I'll notice how tired Gordon was yesterday when he pulled into the station, and I also saw how worried you were. So, I made some, um, other arrangements, you could say. I need you to take me to Vickerstown to meet the new engine. A new engine? Oh, wow! This is going to be so exciting! Henry, could you tell the other Indians they need to be at Knapford Shunting Yard to meet the new engine? Of course, sir. No problem. Well, we must be on our way then. The new engine is supposed to be waiting for us already. Now, Thomas, the reason why I specifically brought you along with me is that the new engine is a bit shy, and you are just the engine who can make her feel at home on solo. So don't let me down. Of course, sir. I'm always happy to meet new engines, and I will do my very best. Now, she should be somewhere around here. Hello there. You must be the new engine. The fat controller would like to meet you. But, but can't we wait a little longer? My... My, uh, coal bunker isn't filled yet. You have plenty of coal in your tender already. Now please, go and meet your new controller. You are filling up the yard. Oh dear. I'll handle this, sir. No problem. Ah, oh, fine then. Hello there. I'm Rosie. Who are you? My name is Rebecca. I've been brought to Sodor to help out on the railway. Oh, wow. You're going to love Sodor. Everyone is very friendly here. They, they are? Yes. Now come along. They'll be waiting for you right now. I, I'm scared, Rosie. I don't know if I will be good enough. Of course you are. Don't be silly. Tell you what, I'll come along with you to keep you company. All right then. <laughs> I oh, don't understand. She should have been here by now, according to the yard manager, and... Aha! There she is! Um, hello! Welcome to Sodor, Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. I'm Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh, hello there. Nice to meet you. Come on, Rebecca. We need to go to Knapford Shunding Yards. Some new friends are waiting for you there, and they can't wait to see you. Oh, yes. Sure thing. Come along then, Rebecca. I will first find a turntable so we can go to Knapford together. Enjoy your time on the railway, Rebecca. Thank you, Rosie. You're too kind. Whoa! Wake up, lazy bones! Oh, it's you. What do you want, Thomas? Can't a special engine like me not even get a 30 minute rest before taking his passengers? Hello everyone, meet the newest member of the North Western Railway. Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca. Welcome to Sodor, Rebecca. I'm Percy. I'm James. I'm Emily. Hello Rebecca, I'm Edward. And I'm Henry. So, Rebecca, what are your really useful jobs going to be? Oh, my job is to help out with heavy goods trains. And help out with pulling express trains, too. What? Oh, hello there. What's this I hear, sir? A new engine is going to take over my express trains? Now, now, Gordon. Don't be so rude. Rebecca is here to help out with pulling the express train. She's not taking over anyone. Now, introduce yourself, please. Hello, Rebecca. I'm Gordon. And I am the express engine on Sodor. And that's how it's going to stay, okay? Um, uh, hello there. Pleased to meet you, Gregory. Wait, what? Oh, the indignity. I'm Gordon. Oh, that engine. <sighs> anyway, welcome to our team, Rebecca. We are so pleased to have you here. Now, as you will be taking a very heavy goods train tomorrow morning from Vickerstown Station, you should go and get a good night's sleep. There should be a few berths empty already at Vickerstown Sheds. Oh, yes. Sure thing, sir. 
Oh, sir, may I please go ahead and sleep at Wellsworth Sheds for the night? The construction on my branch line will start again early tomorrow, so it will save me some time to get there. Oh, yes, of course you can, Edward. Oh, thank you, sir. Good night, everyone. Good night, Edward. Perhaps I can puff along with you, Rebecca. I have to take a train early as well from Vickers Town Yard. I can keep you company for the night if you'd like. That that would be lovely. Um, B Bernie? Ha <laughs> ha, no problem. And it's Henry, by the way. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Henry. Very good. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good night's rest. I have a feeling that Gordon doesn't seem too excited about me coming to Sodor to help him out with the express trains. Oh, now, Rebecca, one thing you need to know is that Gordon doesn't like changes at all, so expect it to be a long time before he adjusts to this. Oh, well, that's a shame. Don't you worry. The Fat Controller brought you to Sodor because he knows you will be a really useful engine. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose so. Good night, Henry. You're a good friend. Good night, Rebecca. Sleep well. <laughs> Come along, you trucks. Let's take you to the docks. Oh, who's this? A banana on wheels? A banana a day keeps the confusion away. <laughs> So hard! Be gentle! Oops. Sorry. You're ready to go, Rebecca. Thank you. Watch out! Otherwise you're going to slip off a banana peel! <laughs> oh, dear. Ah, what a lovely day. Just look at the trees, the birds, the... Sound of annoying trucks. Stop, stop, you trucks. We had a red signal. Oh, I'm sorry, James. These trucks are a bit, well, excited. Oh, don't worry about it, Rebecca. Every engine needs to learn how to handle those troublesome trucks. But I'm sure you'll be just fine in the end. Thank you, James. I will try to keep them under control. Oh no, here we go again! Rebecca? Slow down! You may be an express engine, but you can't race along the tracks with such a heavy goods train. Oh my! These trucks are so troublesome! Can we please get going already? I don't like to be late, you know. I'm sorry, Gordon, but we need Rebecca to clear the line first with a good train. She is stuck on Gordon's hill. She didn't go fast enough to make it to the top. Oh, the indignity! Hello there, Rebecca. How's your day so far? Not good, Thomas. I, I'm i exhausted by these troublesome trucks. Oh dear, don't worry. It's not you. These trucks are always causing trouble. You're ready to go, Rebecca. <sighs> I guess so. Oh, well, g goodbye then, Rebecca. Oh, hello there. Um, Rebecca, was it right? Oh, hello there. Yes, I'm Rebecca. It's so good to see you. Although, I don't know your name. I'm Logan, yo. Stop accusing already, Logan. It doesn't suit you. Puh. And what would you know about that, huh? Um, okay. <laughs> N nice to meet you, Logan. What's up, Rebecca? You look a bit sad. Don't you like working on the island of Sodor? Well, I was keen to make a good first impression, 
but I slipped away from the shunting yard and I nearly caused an accident already. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Rebecca. I'm sure that you will do better once you have stayed a bit longer on Sodo. Trust me. I can't stay long, however. I'm off to the mainland with a passenger train. Goodbye, Rebecca, and take care. Oh, yes. G good night, then. <sighs> Hello there, Rebecca. Why that angry face? It's a beautiful day. I'm just annoyed with James laughing at me earlier today. He said I looked ridiculous with all this coal on me, but I can't help it. How could I know that coal suddenly came out of the hopper at Tidmouth when I was waiting there? Oh, Rebecca, don't worry about it. It's not that bad. Let me tell you, being pink in a red under- For the last time, Logan. Don't shunt my passenger coach is so hard against me. Yo, everything in good time, man. You would know the importance of it if we actually pull these splendid coaches, you disrespectful engine. <laughs> oh my! Connor certainly has seen red. <laughs> Those two aren't the best of friends, I think. <laughs> red, that's funny. Um... Well, let me tell you a story to make you cheer up a bit. Trust me, being covered in coal dust is not as bad as needing to take the express in a bright undercoat. Undercoat? Well, some time ago, I was sent to the works to get an overhaul. While I was there, the workmen painted a so-called undercoat on me to help the paint dry faster. They painted me completely red. I look pretty ridiculous, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> now don't look so offended, Henry. You aren't going to stay red for long. Oh yes, I know that. But I just hope no one sees me like- Oh hello, Henry. Ha <laughs> ha. Decided to have a new coat of paint? Well, I must say it's a good choice of color. Red really suits you, just like me. Ha <laughs> ha. <sighs> Never mind. Well, looks like we're done with the undercoat, Henry. We will come back to you after a nice cup of tea. Yes, sir. Oh, Henry, I'm so glad you're still here. James was supposed to take the express, but he has derailed himself in the yard. We need you to take over the express for him. But, sir, I can't. I'm painted red. Everyone will laugh at me. Now, now, Henry, it's not the end of the world. You're a really useful engine, even when you're painted in a different color. <sighs> Fine, then. I... I will go. What on earth? Who is that? A new engine? No, Percy. It's me, Henry. <gasps> Henry? Is that really you? You're all... Red! <laughs> oh dear. I wonder where James is. Never mind. Found him! <laughs> Ignore them, Henry. I'm glad that you could help me out. Now, off you go then. We can't have the express being late. Right, sir. So there I was. Pulling the express along the main line in my ugly undercoat. A lot of engines laughed at me, but I did not give them a second thought. 
Gordon's Hill was a big task for me, but luckily I was repaired so well that reaching the top went very smoothly. For the rest of the journey, I forgot I was even painted red and delivered the express to its destination right on time. Wow, what a cool story! Thanks for telling me, Henry. You really are a... well, um... Enterprising engine, you could say. Oh, <laughs> it it was nothing really. <laughs> oh, there you go, starting to become red again. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Tipper. What a beautiful morning it is to pull the mail train. <laughs> it sure is, Percy. Uh, hold on, let me just get you all loaded up so you can be on your way. Uh, that's quite a lot of post, isn't it? I know, right? They are all international letters, coming from all over the world. They are all for the fat controller, it seems. <gasps> How exciting! I wonder what they're all about, though. Oh, good morning, Rebecca. Are you ready to pull your first express train on Sodor? Oh, hello there, Percy. Yes, I hope I am. Thomas, Philip, hurry up with my, uh, our coaches. Cool your funnel, Big G. Yeah, settle down. We are doing our very best. Oh, hello there, Thomas and Philip. What a lovely... Be silent, Rebecca, and focus on your special duty. Oh... Wait still and steadily at the platform for all of your passengers to get on the coaches safe and sound. Okay, we'll do. I just wanted to... Off we go then. Oh, um, yes. Come on now, we can't be late. Just having a little issue with the wheels, but it will be fine in a bit. <laughs> now, Rebecca, this is Gordon's Hill. You have to tackle it with a good amount of speed. Right. You need to go faster, Rebecca, otherwise you'll get stuck. Oh, I'm trying. Oh, my cold, what an embarrassment. Nearly there. Nearly there. There we are. Yippee! Oh, took you long enough. Sorry. <laughs> um, Gordon? Yes? Why is it called Gordon's Hill? Because of, um, I was the first privileged engine to go over it. Really? Wow, that must be so cool. What year was it? And why did they choose you? Uh, never mind. We have to hurry. Oh. You need to stop soon, Rebecca. Then I'm going to deliver my passengers to Marin. Rebecca, you must stop. Oh, is that the station already? Yes. No, 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 no. Huh, and that's supposed to be an express engine. Dear. No, 
Now, don't be sad, Rebecca. You have to ignore the rude remarks he gives. If there's one thing you should know about Gordon, is that he doesn't like change. Oh, thank you, Edward. But I don't know. I don't think I will be a good express engine on Sodor with all the mistakes I'm making. Oh, Rebecca, take your time. You're on a new railway where everything is different than what you are used to. It will all be fine in the end. Well, I better be off then. Bye, Edward. Bye, Rebecca. Enjoy pulling the express. Hello again, Gordon. Finally, you're here. Oh. Hello there, Rebecca. Hello, sir. And I'm sorry for being late, sir. Oh, Rebecca, don't worry about it. You're new to the railway. Oh, thank you. Did an excellent job with the express today. Keep it up. Oh, thank you, sir. You see, Rebecca? Good job. Puh, good job. Slipping out of stations, passing the platform, being late. Is that a good job? Is that suitable for an express engine? No. But, Gordon... The Fat Controller said that I did a good job today. He just says that to make you feel welcome on Sodor. But chatty chit talk isn't getting the passengers to their destinations on time, Rebecca. Well, well, being rude to other express engines isn't helping anyone either. Puh! (sighs) He's always like this, isn't he? Well... I may have an issue with slipping, I may make mistakes, but I'm going to do my best to make the Fat Controller proud. That's the spirit, Rebecca! (laughs) Good morning, Philip. Is my heavy goods train ready? Well, um... As there were only very troublesome trucks left, the Fat Controller thought it was best to make an experienced engine pull them. I believe James is supposed to take them now. Oh, that's a shame. Huh. You know what? I'm going to pull that train anyway. Excuse me? I've pulled many goods trains on the mainland, Philip. Trust me, it's okay. Are you sure about this, Rebecca? Sure thing. I'm going to have some fun with these trucks as I usually do. Sing a song, make them happy, then they won't be troublesome. Well, see you later, Philip. Thanks for shunting my train. Bye, Rebecca. I love pulling trucks along. I love pulling trucks along. I love pulling trucks along. They're fun, fun, fun. Who does she think she is? She's treating us like little babies. We'll show her. A red signal up ahead. Oh, I better slow down. Oh, trucks! Slow down, please. There's a red signal up ahead. Ooh, a red signal. <laughs> we all know what that means. Well, ready for glory? Exactly. Wait, what? Don't push, guys. We need to stop, not go faster. On, on, faster, faster. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Rebecca, watch out! Be careful with those troublesome trucks! Thomas, help me! They are pushing me! Oh dear, this is not good. Ah, ah, faster, faster! <laughs> oh, stop! Stop! Oh no, gone in hill! I need to slow down for the bend up ahead! Watch out there, yellow engine! You're not supposed to go this fast down the hill! But I can't stop! Oh my, are you okay there? Uh, not, not really, to be honest. Well, don't panic. You're lucky I just collected the breakdown train. We are ready to help you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 
You do know that was supposed to be my train, right? Yes, but I just wanted to show that I can be really useful. Rebecca, what on earth have you done? Oh, sir, I'm very sorry, sir. I... Please, no excuses, Rebecca. Philip told me that you wanted to pull the goods train, even though Philip had warned you about the troublesome trucks. That's why I sent James an experienced engine. Oh, thank you, sir. Not now, James. Oh, right. Sorry. <sighs> now, Rebecca, I know that you're new to our railway, and I know that you want to be really useful, but orders are orders, and you shouldn't have pulled this train. I'm very sorry, sir. I just wanted to show that I can be a really useful engine. But I messed up, sir. I'm truly sorry. <sighs> you will be out of service for at least a few weeks. You've been damaged badly, Rebecca. Oh, my. This all could have been avoided if you had just listened. Oh, I've disappointed in you, Rebecca. Hello there, Rebecca. I'm Victor, and along with my buddy Kevin, we will make sure you will be working perfectly again. Although, I have to agree with the Fat Controller that it will take a good while. <sighs> Thank you, Victor. Thank you. I told you that the new engine was no good. Now look what's happened. She has barely even been here on the island, and she has caused so much chaos already. Now, Gordon, you know that she tries her best to fit in. <sighs> yes, Henry, but is derailing a train really the best way to do that? Well, she's been pretty helpful with the Express, hasn't she? No, she hasn't. Yes, she has. Wait, what, sir? Rebecca's taken a lot of works from your buffers, Gordon. So much, in fact, that it looks like you now have still the energy left to complain. Puh. I came here to ask another engine to help you with the... Oh, oh, sir. There's no need for another engine to help me. I will show you all that I can manage just fine without one. Hmm. Very well then, Gordon. As you wish. Well... Good night, everyone. Is that really a smart idea, sir? He will overwork himself. Oh, I know that, Falco. Just give it one day, and he will beg for another engine to help him out. Oh, hello, Rebecca. Getting ready for another exciting day pulling the express? Isn't it fun to go flying down the line? Fun? 
It's a very serious job, Rebecca. No fun and games to be had here. Oh, well, I only thought... Well, you thought wrong. Oh, dear. Hello, Rebecca. Are you about to fill up with coal? Huh? Oh, yes. Sorry, Henry. Rebecca, is everything all right? I'm fine. It's just... it's Gordon. He doesn't seem to like me all that much. I'd really like to be his friend, but it doesn't seem he wants to. Oh, that's just how Gordon is sometimes. He doesn't like changes, and the Northwestern Railway has changed a lot. New engines are arriving to the island, Rosie is now working on Thomas's branch line, Toby is now sleeping at Olvstead Castle. Just give him some time. He'll lighten up. Well, I certainly hope those clouds lighten up. What? Oh my, looks like a storm's coming in. Well, let's hope it passes. I don't like working in the rain. Neither do I. some other day, if you don't mind. Come on, come on! Oh no! Rebecca, stop! Stop! Out of my way, Slippy Wheels! Sorry, Rebecca. You'll have to wait for the next green signal. Oh, what a storm! I haven't seen one this bad in a long time! The only time I've seen the weather like this was back on my old railway. It had been shut down for an entire day due to repairs. Well, let's hope the Northwestern doesn't have to go through something like that. Whoa! Hey! Oh! Close the door! Sorry! Bickerstone rolling bridge is damaged due to the storm. I was on my way back to the mainland but had to turn back. Caitlin made it back though, though I hope she's okay. Oh, great! So now we're stuck here! No need to worry, everyone. We're all safe and sound in Vickerstown Sheds. Oh, dear. Good morning, everyone. I can't... Re oh. What a mess. Where's Percy and Rosie? Their drivers came in early. They said the storm had caused quite a mess on the Farquhar branch line, so they had to go and clear the tracks of debris. Yes, and I'm afraid some of you shall be tasked with helping with repairs as well. Now the railway isn't entirely closed, we will continue with normal trains as usual, but I will need three of you to help workmen with repairs. James, you will be collecting workmen from Napford and bringing them to Harwick. Emily, you shall collect supplies from the docks and take them to Great Waterton. Henry, you must collect the breakdown train and head to the viaduct. It was damaged badly, so I'll need you two to help with repairs. Rebecca shall meet you there with supplies and materials for the workmen. 
You all know your jobs. Now off you go. Right. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. Now, Gordon, you will be taking the express today as usual. However, due to a lot of debris on the track, I'm afraid you'll need to limit your speed. So unfortunately, you'll need to go slower than you usually do when you pull the express. And you'll need to take the loop line, the one that goes through Cabelnu. But sir, the express is the most important train on the line. I can't go slow or take detours. You shall do as you are told. Safety first. Hmm. Oh, the indignity. <gasps> Perhaps if I skip taking on cold water, then I can make it to my destinations on time. Oh, Gordon, surprised to see you here on time. What with the storm and all? Yes, Philip, an engine must always be on time when he is expected to pull a train as important as the express. All right, then. You, uh, filled up on coal and water, right? Oh, um, yes, I did, yes. Get in quickly, please. Oh, bother. Where is Rosie with the passengers? I'm running late. Hello, Bertie. Have you seen Rosie by any chance? She was supposed to be here 30 minutes ago. She's still busy with clearing debris from the tracks on the branch line. Daisy was meant to bring the passengers, but she ended up getting stuck in flooded tracks, so I had to bring them for her. Well, you certainly took your time. I'm sorry. So many roads are closed. I had to take the long way. Ugh, never mind. You're here now, so that's all that matters. Oh, Gordon! Gordon! You're running low on coal! Oh no. He'll be in trouble soon. Oh, I feel so foolish going slow. I'm pulling the express, for goodness sake. Perhaps if I go fast, well, just a little bit faster, I can get ahead of Rebecca and take my normal route. That way I won't have to take a silly loop line. Express coming through! Whoa! Gordon, you can't go down that way! The viaduct has been repaired! Can't stop! The express never stops! Oh dear. Well, I'm going that way anyhow. Express coming through! Gordon! Oh, that's funny, I'm going a lot slower than usual. Gordon! Get off the bridge! I don't know if I can. What's happened? You've run out of coal and water. You're not going anywhere, I'm afraid. Bother! And of all the places you had to get stuck as well! Oh, nonsense, Henry. It can't get any worse. Gordon! The bridge is full 
falling apart! What? Oh no! Help me, Henry! I can't! My driver and fireman left for lunch break with the other workmen! Help! Get me off this bridge! Somebody! Anybody! Got in? What are you doing on the viaduct? Rebecca, rescue me! What? Gordon's run out of coal and water! He can't move! Help! Where are you going? Rebecca! Don't cover me from my trucks! What are you doing? What is she doing? She's going to crash into you. What? Oh, 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 Rebecca. Rebecca, you saved me. And us. And us. Way to go, Rebecca. You saved the day. certainly done it this time, haven't you? It's one thing to take initiative, but it's another thing to put yourself and others in danger. Not only did you not fill up with coal and water, but you completely disregarded my warning as well, and took your normal route when I specifically told you not to! Well, uh, I don't know what to say, sir. Well, you can think about it another time. Starting today, you are no longer to pull the express and shall stay in the sheds until you are wanted. Henry will shunt you back to the sheds. Well, well, well. Gordon the Express is so important that he doesn't even need cold or water now, does he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really thought you could travel to Vickerstown with a low supply of coal and water? <laughs> Cheer up, Gordon. If you don't get the Express back, perhaps you can work on your tightrope skills. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone! Rebecca! What are you doing here? Oh, just have to turn around so I can make my way back to Town. Wait! Rebecca, I, I just wanted to say, uh, thank you for helping me. I haven't been a good engine lately, and for that I want to apologize to you. Well, to all of you. I took all my frustrations and anger out on you and the others, and that was unacceptable. I shouldn't have acted the way I have been, but I did, and for that I'm sorry, Rebecca. I'm sorry, Henry. And I'm sorry to all my fellow engines. Oh! Um, uh, thank you, Gordon. That was very kind of you. It takes a big engine to admit when he's been acting silly. And just to prove how sorry I am, why don't you stay here for the night? We do have a spot available, plus it's a long way back to Vickers Town, and it'll be dark soon. I think that's a splendid idea, Gordon. Then... I... I will! T 
achievements Chef Engines talk about? Oh, we were just talking about the incident that happened at the viaduct. But, uh, have you heard the news about who's working there late to clear up the mess? Oh? Who? It's not fair! I didn't make this mess! Why do I gotta be the one to clean it up? Well, why do we gotta be the one stuck working with you? Yeah, it ain't no picnic for us either! It's not fair! Cheer up, Diesel 10! At least you're not working alone! I'm here! And so am I! Here you are, Diesel 10! More trucks for you! Oh! <laughs>